हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज आवर थर्टी ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ पावर बी आई इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव कवर्ड वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ डैक्स फंक्शन एंड नाउ फाइनली वी आर रीच टू आवर फाइनल स्टेप ऑफ द प्रोसेस व्हिच इज रिपोर्ट बिल्डिंग सो दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेप गाइज बिकॉज आफ्टर बिल्डिंग द रिपोर्ट ओनली पब्लिशिंग पार्ट इज लेफ्ट विच इज नथिंग जस्ट टू ओनली शेयर द रिपोर्ट विच यू हैव क्रिएटेड so you can say that this is the last step of the process of making report so in report building step we will learn about various features as well as various charts visuals and many more things so stay tuned with us for learning more about power bi so before start this report building step we will revise the previous steps quickly so firstly i have extracted the data from here so you guys can see i have uploaded all the tables then i have made some transformation under power query editor window and cleansing our data in power query editor then upload into power bi desktop and after uploading into power bi desktop then i went to the modeling tab and i have created some relationship between the tables you guys can see here and the last we have used some dax function which we are calculated column and some of them we are measures so you guys can see here we have used so we have covered all these steps of report building process and the last step of the process is left which is building report so under this video guys we will just only discuss very basic things about power bi desktop so let's get started so firstly i'll start with this home tab so under home tab we have various kinds of data extraction option like that data excel workbook data hub sql server enter data data words recent sort so these are the various tools guys which you can extract with the data and after this we have a transformation feature which means you can directly go to the power query editor and transform your data you guys can see here and we have one more option here which is data source setting so you guys can change the setting of the source after using this option now we have one more option which is refresh you guys can refresh your data once it get uploaded more and now comes to our next feature which is new visual you guys can take the new visual from here usually we use visuals from this visualization pane not from here so i'll just remove this visual and we have another option which is text box now we have one more feature which is more visual that means you guys can take multiple visuals from outside which is from app store or for the marketplace so you guys can use this option from here as well get more visual now we have a option of calculation which is new measure quick measure mostly we are using new measure now the final option is here which is publish after creating the report you guys can publish from here now go to the insert tab guys so you guys can add new page from here as well as duplicate page so you guys can also add from here as well now we have again same options like new visual and more visual and the next options are ai visual that means artificial intelligence visual so we will study in detail further like q and a key influencer decomposition pre and smart native so these all are visual guys you can see here which is power app power automate paginated report and these are the separate tool guys you guys can also learn from like a power bi so we will not cover these topics in power bi desktop now we have some element so here we have a text box again and we have some buttons like right button left button reset button back button now we can use shapes here with this circle triangle and many more and the last one is image you guys can upload image from your desktop and the last option in insert tab which is spark line so we will study while creating a report so go to our modeling tab so you guys can see here is the option of managing relationship so after clicking on this option you guys can create a multiple relationship with the tables usually we create our relationship in modeling tab not from here in calculation we have a various kind of feature like new measure new column new table now we have one more option which is new parameter what is parameter so we will discuss this option later 
Now we have one more option of security, which is manage roles and view as. So we will study later how it is useful. And this is a Q&A option, guys. So there is a very limited use in Power BI report. Now comes to the view section. So in view tab, we have an option of themes. So in this theme section, you guys can take various kinds of themes for making report more attractive. And this is a page view option, guys. You guys can set your page according to the width, actual size, or fit to page. And this is a, another option, guys, of mobile layout. So you guys can make the page according to your mobile layout. And we have multiple options of page setting, which is grid line, snap to grid, lock objects. So we will cover up step by step. No worry, guys. So our next option is filter. So we can use this filter function here. Usually, guys, we use filter function from filter pane, not from here. And now the last important feature of our Power BI desktop, which is bookmark. So we will study about it later. Now we have a performance analyzer, sync slicer, and we will cover up each and all functions. We have also a selection pane, but we will study with the help of bookmark. So guys, this is the basic class of our report building where I have covered all the functions of Power BI desktop. So from next class, we will learn how to build our report. So please subscribe this channel and stay tuned with us for learning Power BI step by step. Thank you so much guys for your love and support. And if anybody need interview preparation training, so you guys can directly connect me through the LinkedIn. And this training is paid guys, not free. So LinkedIn link is given under the description box. You guys can connect me there for more details. Thank you so much guys.